Hey guys, here's what it is. I meant to film this like yesterday. I really underestimated how tired swim lessons would make me as an adult. Uh, we're in the three and a half foot zone. And um, so that's just the point where if I kneel, the water's up to like here, which is fine, except we don't have very much mobility. So it's basically just a lot of squatting. Um, and that really takes a toll on you, but the baby's loving it and it's a lot of fun. Um, but I'm like out of energy by the time I get home, so I didn't finish filming this yesterday, so here we are. I'm hiding in the bedroom while my in-laws are getting dinner with my husband. I already ate, so I'm just going to try to film this real quick. Um, it is almost the end of One Book July, and uh, I just kind of wanted to recap what we did and how I'm feeling about it and uh, where I am going forward. So if you have not been keeping up with all of this, the playlist is up here and you can take a look and watch the whole thing. There's probably hours worth of content there if you want something to listen to while you get stuff done today. Um, but otherwise, here's the recap right now. So I started off in this. I made my own Happy Planner micro note size. Um, with like the Franken planner covers where um, every section has like a double cover and you can just like change which one is in front. I didn't really use that very much. Um, this was nice in that I was starting to feel overwhelmed by my file effects. Life was getting busy, the baby's party was that week, and um, as well as like the holiday and stuff. And so I just needed to kind of focus, and so I took everything that I needed out and stuck it in here for one week um, and didn't look at anything that wasn't in here. So it was a good way to kind of focus. Um, I think if I had to do it over again, I wouldn't bother with the Franken covers, and I would have gotten smaller rings because these rings would be fine if I was using this as an everyday carry, but I didn't have enough in here to really justify the giant size, and it made it a little hard to turn. Um, so... Yeah, I will consider this as an option for a future similar use. Um, for now, though, I'm not sure that the rings are necessarily, or sorry, that these discs are necessarily for me. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I have to say, it was a lot of fun putting this together. The week after that, I was in this Clever Fox. This is their daily planner in the color lilac, and it is a beast. It was the idea was to continue that sort of focused. Um, Thing, but really looking back, it was the one full week I had um, between party planning and Comic-Con. I could have gotten some more stuff done and I was starting to feel um, like I was making planning for Comic-Con my goal, but um, something about this, like I didn't get as much of it done as I should have considering that that was all I had in here. So take that as it will. It was, I really like about this, the, um, the review sections at the end of every week and every day. I think that's super useful and cool. So that is something that I would consider looking, uh, in using this again or implementing into a different planner system as well. So take a look at these. So I did fully intend to go back into the micro notes for Comic-Con. Um, I thought the idea of the really small planner was useful and it may have been, um, but I guess part of the point of detoxing from the system that I was in that was getting overwhelming, um, it worked because I started to really miss this. Just like the feel of it, the size of it, the chunk, the color, um, the pockets. And so I decided, no, nope, I'm going to come back in. And so I brought this with me to Comic-Con. Um, and it worked really well. I used uh, my Summer Touch when a week on six pages fold out insert that I am really glad I got a chance to use because I don't think it would really suit me much in my day to day like everyday normal life but it was perfect for uh, for Comic Con having that page per day and everything in one place um, and just generally being able to keep my wallet in here um, and stuff and then I got this little journal and since I came back I don't know when exactly now I had the time to sort of refocus myself and figure out what's in here. I think that's what it is, is when I don't have a full gra grasp on what is in here, I start to feel like there are things in here that need my attention that I forgot about. 
which you don't really want in your everyday carry, right? You want to have a good grasp on what's there. Um, and so I feel like it's useful to go through every so often and just flip through the entire thing, you know, and maybe take notes um, in a place that you look more often, of a page that you look at less often, just so you don't forget it's there. Um, I started to feel more like I had a handle on it, and I was definitely ready to come back and use it full time. I've been liking my Summer Touch Weeklies that I've been in last week, this week. Um, and I'm really looking forward to using next month's August's uh, monthly setup. That's actually going to be tomorrow's video. So it's the last video of One Book July. is actually on August 1st. Um, and that's going to be my uh, monthly setup video. And I'm doing it a little bit differently than I have in the last how many months. I've been doing pretty much the same monthly planner set up plan with me video for the last six months at least um and I've been trying to shake them up and I don't know if you've gotten bored of them or not but it's going to be slightly a little bit different um this time so you'll get to take a look at that tomorrow and um also in the meantime take a look at the link down below to my blog there's going to be a companion blog post I'm hoping that I'll get it up by the time this video publishes, but if not, it should only be a couple of hours, so be patient. Um, that's going to be, again, the same idea, showing you just a couple of the pros and cons of these planners um, over the course of July. For me personally, the things that I found to be good and bad about those systems um, and why I'm happy where I am now. So, if One Book July is over, there's not going to be a new video uh, on Friday or Saturday, but I do post videos every Sunday and Thursday. So if you're still not subscribed, what are you doing? Click that subscribe button somewhere down there, and I will see you in the next one, okay? Bye.